y enviamos los vientos fecundadores. Hacemos que caiga agua del cielo, y con ella os damos de beber, pero vosotros no tenéis sus depósitos. NASA scientists have performed the first multi-year study using satellite data to measure the 3D distribution of dust that travels from the Sahara Desert to the Amazon rainforest. The Sahara is the world's largest desert at more than 3 million square miles. It's almost the size of the continental United States. Each year, Saharan dust is lifted from the ground and transported by winds on a 3,000 mile journey across the Atlantic Ocean. A portion of the dust collects in the Amazon Basin, the largest rainforest on the planet. Although dust particles are small, no larger than around a tenth of the width of a human hair, they form massive plumes that can be seen from space. NASA's Calypso satellite was launched in 2006 to study the vertical structure of clouds and particles in Earth's atmosphere. Calypso observations from 2007 through 2013 show that on average 182 million tons of dust leaves Africa each year. Of this amount, about 27 million tons is deposited in the Amazon basin. Sahara dust contains phosphorus, which is an important nutrient for plants. In the tropic region, the phosphorus is quite limited, so it's important to estimate how much dust from desert is transported to the Amazon. The study shows Saharan dust adds phosphorus to the soils that help compensate for losses due to surface runoff and floods. However, the amount of dust transported to the Amazon changes from year to year. According to the study, this variation is closely associated with changes in rainfall in the Sahel, a belt of semi-arid land just south of the Sahara. When the Sahel was dry, the dust transport to the Amazon in the next year would increase. When it was wet, dust transport would decrease. Les haremos ver nuestros signos en el horizonte y en ellos mismos, hasta que se les haga evidente que es la verdad. ¿Es que no basta con que tu Señor es testigo de todas las cosas?